Now, let's talk about my UFO story. This happened maybe about circa, I don't know, 2002, 2003, somewhere around that time. Um, I was dating this girl that I've been dating since like high school, and uh, we decided to uh, take a venture out to San Felipe, um, Baja California. Her family and I um, would always go every year, and finally, you know, we were adults already, and we had cars. So we decided to drive out there, and if you guys don't know, it's like six, seven hours from Los Angeles, um, and you drive down through Mexico all the way down to uh, the Baja Peninsula. Not all the way down, but, you know, quite um, far in, six, seven hours is a lot of time to drive. And if anyone ever knows or has been there knows that there is nothing there, just mountains on one side and ocean on the other side, and it's like 50, 100 miles out this way, the ocean, and 50, 100 miles out this way, the mountains, and it's uh, the Mexican Sierras, I think that's what it's called, and it's a road, lonely road, there's no towns for miles and miles and miles till you finally hit the main city of, um, you know, San Felipe, and, uh, very popping city it's butt hot it's like 110 115 maybe even warmer well anyways i'll get back to the story we were uh, driving in the middle of the night because it's way too hot to drive in the day and uh while we were driving we started seeing the light on our side you know and we thought it was a helicopter and uh we just found it really strange that you know there was a helicopter in the middle of nowhere and why would there be a helicopter in the middle of nowhere? And why we thought it was a helicopter is all we saw was like a bulb, a large bulb like what a helicopter puts on when it's like, you know, flying around like the ghetto birds. I don't know if you guys know about what a ghetto bird is, but just look it up. And, uh, you know, there was four of us in the car. It was my then girlfriend, myself, uh, the sister and her boyfriend. And they were all, you know, looking at it while I was driving. And to our right, it just kept on coming and coming and coming and coming. But the crazy thing, it was coming diagonally towards us. Um, you know, but it was for miles that it followed us. And that's what we found strange. And none of us really said anything to each other. We didn't really talk about it. But we're just like, the light is still there and it's still following us. So somewhere along that road time, I don't know how long it had been following us. Um, Danny, who's uh, the sister's boyfriend. Um, tells us, hey, the light is behind us now. You know, it, it, it just kept on coming out. And it was following us. And for a while we thought, wow, there must have been a road on, on the far right, an old road, because this was like a modern highway. And in Mexico, if you guys know, there's a bunch of old highways that are not maintained. And eventually they started building newer highways. So we thought, well, maybe it was the old highway. But what he said, what, found, what we found strange, and I found strange, and everybody I tell the story finds exceptionally strange is the light wasn't moving, it was stationary. And the road goes down, up and down like this. So we both said, whatever it is, it's staying stationary, it's flying. So for sure we thought it was a helicopter. And um, at no moment did it get closer to us. It was pretty far behind from us, maybe like, I don't know, 10 miles, 5 miles. Not far, but not close to the point where we'd be worried. And um, all of a sudden, they tell me, stop, 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 stop. And I stopped. I don't know why we stopped, but the light just did this weird thing. It, like, vibrated, and it went like, <laughs> straight up. And um, I didn't even know what to think of it. None of us said anything, and we all just stayed quiet. And none of us ever really talked about it. And what I find strange about this story is... I don't know if it actually happened or if I subconsciously recalled it, but, you know, no loss of time, nothing like that, but sometimes I think, like, I made it up, like, that really didn't happen, and, but I, I recall the story, I recall the moments, I recall it being dark, the road was going up and down, I remember all that, but some of, some of me thinks I might have made it up because it was just really weird and I, I can't explain it anyways that's my weird UFO story I don't know fuck I don't know what to think maybe I'm crazy 
I'm crazy to share my story. Well, anyways, um, I'll tell my stories. I'm a story man, so, uh, and obviously I'm out in the wilderness telling beautiful stories, scary stories. Um, I'll start talking about missing people. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys and gals subscribe, and uh, I'll keep on putting out these videos. Thanks for watching.